there. Welcome to my channel where we transform complex data into simple and interactive masterpieces. Today, I've got something special for you. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by project finances, wishing there was a magic wand to make everything clear and manageable? Well, consider this your lucky day. Before we dive in, take a look at this. What you're seeing is not just any dashboard. It's the zenith of simplicity and efficiency in project finance management. This masterpiece thrives on the very essence of your project financial health, turning intimidating numbers into stories and detailed insights into actionable steps. And the best part, today I will show you how to create one just like it, all without the complexity of VBA or macros. By the end of this tutorial, you will master the art of crafting a similar dashboard that operates seamlessly, making tracking your project expenses and cash flow an absolute breeze. It's perfect for project managers, finance professionals, or any data enthusiasts who prefer a no-code approach. And if the thought of building from the ground up makes you hesitate, fear not, I've got you covered with a ready-to-use dashboard template, the link to which is available in the description below. This gives you the head start you need with no coding required. So get yourself comfortable and let's start this journey of converting those overwhelming data into a visually stunning and easy to manage dashboard. And hey, if you appreciate our no-code solution and clear-cut tutorials, go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell to stay updated on our data-driven escapades. These are the color codes, fonts, and icons used for creating the dashboards. And for training and practicing, you can download the data set for this dashboard for free. The link is in the description below. I have already set up the necessary pivot tables and data tables for our analysis. At the very top, display the logo and the title of the company. It's crucial to include the last update date on the dashboard, particularly if it's going to be regularly distributed. This should be linked from the database sheet.
introduced navigation tabs to switch among various dashboard sections. Implement the use of buttons for this purpose. Tailor the font color, style, and size for clear visibility. Color the tabs so that the active tab is marked with a darker shade, whereas the inactive ones are in lighter shades. Equip each tab with a fitting icon for straightforward navigation. Place headings and metrics for the data to be shown, ensuring text boxes are accurately linked to their respective data. Like I said earlier, I had created the pivot table here. However, for educational purposes and to assist those unfamiliar with the process, I will quickly go through the steps of creating some of these elements again. You can then repeat the process for the other data. Repeat this configuration five times for assorted data points. Select all, then press Ctrl plus Shift and move right to copy as shown. Distribute horizontally as shown to make it presentable and align to the middle. Now, change all the headings and link here.
at the savings percentage. Next, add hyperlinks for each tab at cell A1. Let's hide the cell selection box by inserting a rectangle on it. Repeat the process to link the other pages to tabs as before.
It's now time to learn how to create and design the slicers. Start by creating the slicers and move them to the dashboard. Select any of the pivot tables. On the ribbon, click the Insert tab, then Slicer. We will need three slicers for years, department and project status. Now, let's format the slicer.
To have the slicers control charts based on different pivot tables, you need to connect the slicers to all the pivot tables. Here is how. Right click the slicer and choose report connections. In the dialog box that appears, you will see a list of all pivot tables in the workbook. Check the boxes next to the pivot tables that you want the slicer to control. These should be the pivot tables that your charts are based on. I have already renamed some of my pivot tables. You should do the same for ease of identification. Create the sum boss chart to show the number of current, closed, and cancelled projects by department. We start by creating the pivot tables to use. Unfortunately, we cannot create Sunburst charts using pivot table charts. So let's replicate the pivot table into a table to get this type of chart. We can change the layout of pivot table to tabular form and copy and paste as values the pivot table to get the desired format. Link the count from the existing pivot table. Now the table is ready. Let's insert the Sunboss chart. Please remove the empty data cells. Move these charts to the dashboard. Remove the chart title, fill color, and outline.
Format the data label size. Add the value, then select the space separator. Add table labels above the chart. Format it similar to heading, use it for matte painter as shown. Insert two more labels and distribute all horizontally. Use lines as a separator between the labels. Insert a suitable icon before each label. Next, a column chart showing the total project's budget by department.
create a pivot table and add the department's name in the role field and budget amount in values field. Insert pivot clustered column chart and move it to dashboard. Remove the field buttons and hall legends. Add data labels from chart elements. Format the font board type, size, and column color. Resize the chart to fit on the background. Remove chart color and outline. Let's give the title to column chart and align font to left. It's time to create a line chart showing the actual and targets by months. First, create background as done before. Align all charts as shown while creating the sunburst and column chart background to the top and column and line charts to the left. Format the background as done before. Next, we will insert a pivot line chart and move it to the dashboard. We don't need the field buttons. Remove grid lines. Move legends to bottom and remove vertical axis. Insert a separator between chart and element to make it presentable.
For a later presentation, I will create a table data to link from. To create the pivot table used, drag years and months targets field to the row area and drag targets and actual field to the values area. Next step is to find out the gap by subtracting target total from actual total. Now, we will place a triangle shape after gap total and reverse it to showcase downward trend. Format the shape color and flip it to vertical. Remove shape outline. Now create a text box to bring the gap percentage to the dashboard. Next, we need even the titles to become interactive. We will use year pivot table for this trick. Copy the data labels to the next column by linking it to the pivot table. We will sum the column which is called the key. Let's move the year slicer from the dashboard to the pivot table tab. These are the choices you can make with the year slicer. Let's select one by one and see the results. Okay, let's place the slicer to its original destination on the dashboard. Now, we will select the titles for line charts using VLOOKUP formula based on key. Now, link the VLOOKUP to the created titles on the dashboard.
you can check to see that the titles are changing on selection of any filter. It's time to learn how to insert donut chart and display gap. Let's go to the pivot table tab to calculate the gap percentage. Start by creating pivot tables for the four gaps. You can select any of the earlier created pivot table to use as a foundation. Repeat the pivot table creation steps for the other three gaps, then calculate the gap percentage. It is calculated as the percentage of the total built cost. The remaining figure is calculated as a subtraction from total percentage, 100%. Now, we can insert donut charts using GAP and remaining percent.
Next is to insert pivot table and add department to rows and all gaps to values. It's time to create stage-wise project data. We will start by creating stages pivot table for use from the milestone data set. Just. 
Let's move to another data and learn how to create it. We will insert scroll bar from developer menu. Format control and change all the values as per requirement. Link the cell from the pivot table as shown. We will now move the scroll bar from the pivot table tab to check the scrolling accuracy. Let's see how we have created this. First, create this table just as it is. The numbers 1 to 13 is based on the total number of milestones available as seen below. Next, insert a symbol here in cell number CQ6 from Excel Symbols Library. Then in cell number CN6, I will use VLOOKUP formula to search for the values representing these numberings from the data table below. Insert VLOOKUP in all cells from CQ6 to cell DC6 to display the symbol if it matches the filtered project stage. Now, we can check the display the shape on scrolling the bar button. This is used to highlight the filtered number of the project stage. We will insert this shape on dashboard and copy it for each project stage. Distribute hull horizontally and remove font and shape color. Align the font to middle and center. Group all the shapes together and link each to the pivot table. Resize the font to cover full box. Format the font gradient color to make it presentable.
it's time to create the project stage data. We will create it using VLOOKUP formula. Link the dashboard data and title from pivot table as shown. Lock the scroll bar by enabling 
don't move or size with cells and locked objects. To round up, get suitable codes to the tabs up here. And finally, remember to have your slicers control charts based on the different pivot tables available. You need to connect the slicer to all these pivot tables. And that concludes the tutorial. Congratulations! You've just taken a massive leap from data confusion to dashboard clarity. Look at what you've created, a dynamic, interactive project finance dashboard that not only serves as your financial compass, but empowers you to make decisions swiftly. And if building from the scratch wasn't on your agenda today, our ready-made template awaits to give you the instant boost you need. If you've enjoyed this journey as much as I did, make sure to leave a comment below share the video and ask questions or suggest what tutorial you would like to see next. Your feedback is a not star. Don't let the learning stop here. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials that unlock the power of data and hit that bell icon so you're always in the loop. Together, we are not just crunching numbers, we are crafting the future of project management. See you in my next video.